I can remember playing at Quinjibora. <laughs> we uh, used to get dressed in the Spargo Hotel at wade across through the creek, which you can see down the bottom there. Get our feet nice and wet. If you were up there playing full back or full forward, when the ball was down this end, you could not see which side had the ball. There was a big hump in the middle of the ground and the only way you could fathom it out was which direction the ball was travelling. And on one wing, we used to have to wade through ferns to get the ball. There was rabbits all around the area at those times and uh, it was often when we were crossing the creek there would be rabbits running around everywhere. <coughs> And, uh, well, as you can see, the ground has not changed. <laughs> there were a lot of grounds that were in pretty ordinary condition those days. I remember at the Churton football ground in the Castle Main League, they had uh, electric light wires running through the ground about the centre half forward position. And often the ball would hit that, and if you were standing on the wire, you were surprised when you found yourself you had the ball. <laughs> I don't know whether the Teuton fullback knew he could hit the lines, but he hit them very, very regular. And of course the opposing teams wouldn't have a clue what was going on. And of course if the umpire told us that we could play on if the power if the power lines were hit, we used to play on and kick goals. Much to the, <laughs> the annoyance of the opposing team. <laughs> The Harcourt was pretty bad, it had a big creek running down one side of it and uh, many of players disappeared down the creek. Kyneton was a little bit difficult. You'd always walk off the Kyneton ground four to six inches taller because the black turfy ground from here used to build up on your boots. <laughs> Trentham and Wood End weren't too bad when we played out with them but the biggest trouble there was the snow. We played on Wood End, I think it was at one stage, on about six inches of snow. And I remember one of the players, real tough old hard bloke, come out, he says, Deucey, I'm going to kill you, with a smile on his face. So during the game, I thought I'd get even with him. I bent down, picked up a handful of snow, squeezed up hard in the ball and let him have it behind the ear, not knowing that it had gone to ice. <laughs> and then we knocked him out. It was great fun. He just turned around and said, well, you buy me a beer afterwards. And that was the way it was. If you meet up with some of the old players of those days, you still stop and have a talk about it. The subject is always football. You always get back to when we played. Wasn't it good when we played? Wasn't it different when we played? 